So actually, I, I borrowed the term soul force from, uh, from Gandhi. Okay. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. used it uh, in his Christmas sermon on peace. Yeah. And really soul force is, is uh, love in action, that the part that was being overlooked yeah. is the deep, deep, deep spirituality and the deep faith to transform society from the inside out. Because I think what we're looking at is a massive social, societal, world global transformation. So when you talk about like awakening the force, what do you really mean by the force? Mm. What is the force to you? Mm. So actually, I, I borrowed the term soul force from uh, from Gandhi. Okay. So God, and Gandhi's nonviolence. Uh, you know, some of the language that gets used, the Sanskrit terms, mm -hmm. eventually were translated into soul force. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. used it uh, in his Christmas sermon on peace uh, of meeting physical force with soul force. And really soul force is, is uh, love in action. Okay. So being both a student of spirituality and of nonviolence, being a very politically engaged person, mm -hmm. I'd always thought we had really approached this... Um, we really approach the concept of nonviolence and the power of nonviolence as our culture from an uh, intellectual perspective and from the perspective of how was Gandhi uh, and King, how were Gandhi and King effective in their ability to move people mm. socially, right? But I thought at the center of that and the core of that, the part that was being overlooked yeah. is the deep, deep, deep spirituality and the deep faith, truthfully, and love that needs to be present for those social movements to have any kind of power or potency. Gotcha. So it was me going to the root, saying, oh, I understand where Gandhi and King, I intellectually get where they were coming from. Like when I hear their approaches and their strategies about how, to, how they achieve social transformation, mm -hmm. I got it. But, but my thought was, you know, looking as an observer saying, but do we understand like what's really at the depth? Like what are the depths of spirituality and love and faith that are required to transform society from the inside out? Yeah. You know, those were those were people who had a tremendous amount of influence and and power. Yeah. You know, and um, so I borrowed that language because I think what we're looking at is a massive social, societal, world global transformation. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it. Little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Right. Huge one. A massive one. It's the, the massive, the shift is here and it's already going, you know. And so when I was coming up with kind of the language I wanted to use to kind of package this stuff, I wanted to call it Awakening Soul Force because to me, this is a long journey for myself and for all of us from getting to the core, getting to the root, to getting mm -hmm. to the seeds and the foundation of truth and love and faith that are required for the social transformation we need. So this is kind of like the first step. I like it. Yeah. So kind of tapping people into that, that their truth, and then that power, and it's that power from the soul that mm -hmm. really pushes the force of change in the world and mm -hmm. change in their own life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's love and action. Love and action. Love and action, and that's why kind of at the center of it is like meditation, you know, for me, because meditation is where I have found connection to what I refer to as loving awareness. Yeah. You know, and in sitting with that uh, the way I would, uh, if you and I spend a lot of time together, mm -hmm. there's a good chance that you're going to pick up some characteristics or some traits or some influence from me. And there's some things that you do that I might be like, oh, Christine's got some uh, cool thoughts or ideas, or I might pick up some, th you know, quirks or whatever. That happens when we hang out with groups of people and friends, you know. And I've come to see this the same way. Is like if I give myself time to build a relationship with loving awareness in meditation and in stillness, well, of course I'm going to adopt some yeah. of those qualities, those qualities of non-judgment, those qualities of, of forgiveness or being merciful, you know, the yeah. stuff that's at the core of, I think, what we really need to, we need to shift. Um, and, that, and that's why meditation plays such a huge role. It has played such a huge role for me, and it's why it's kind of like at the core of the book and... If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have an amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.